Hi, this is Steve King. And I'm Johnny Putman. This time on our video road test, we take a longer look at a car that we had a sneak peek of at the Mama Road Rally. The 2013 Dodge Dart Rally. The Dodge Dart falls into a very competitive compact sedan category. Just to name a few, favorites like the Chevy Cruze, the Ford Focus, and the Hyundai Elantra. The Dodge Dart Rally Package is the sportier of the trims. It gives you fog lamps and these really sporty wheels. Also with the Rally Package, you get these very cool stripes on the seats. And speaking of cool things on the seats, how about this for a sneaky storage area? The trunk space in the Dodge Dart is average for a compact sedan. But with 60-40 fold-down seats, the cargo capability is really quite good. Not surprisingly, in this compact sedan, the Dodge Dart doesn't have a whole lot of back seat room. In fact, it's perfect for the munchkins. The front seat, on the other hand, even in winter wearing a heavy coat, the tallest of drivers have plenty of leg room. We really like this center console and all of the gauges and the controls are well lit, well laid out, and easy to use. And we really like the nice two-tone sporty trim. One of the great features at this price point of seventeen to twenty-five thousand dollars is this backup camera, which is really an excellent backup camera. And one of the things we like about the overall setup with the dash is that the touchscreen is friendly for gloved hands. We were both very pleasantly surprised at the expressway acceleration from this 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It gives you 160 horsepower and it's made it to a six speed automatic transmission. Now the combination equals excellent gas mileage, 27 in the city, 37 on the highway. Dodge recommends that you use premium gasoline. You can use regular, but that's gonna compromise your fuel economy. Kudos to Dodge for putting an actual usable visor with a usable extender into the Dodge Dart. We should mention that the overall visibility of the Dodge Dart is really pretty good. But I think that the A-pillar equals a blind spot when pulling out into traffic, possibly due to the position of my seat when I'm driving. And speaking of blind spots, the blind spot alert is one of the options available to you on the Dodge Dart. We're both impressed with the ride in the Dodge Dart. And we like the handling. It's really pretty good. However, it does take a while to get used to the brakes. They're a little bit mushy. It's been 37 years since the last Dodge Dart, and we think it was worth the wait. For more information on the Dodge Dart, check out what our friends from Consumer Guide Automotive have to say at cgdailydrive.com.